Hello, welcome back to Glory Hunter, and we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well in this save, we've got to admit. Schedule-wise, since last time you clocked in with me when we beat Nottingham Forest a whopping 7-0. And Aston Villa, we beat 1-0 at home, Paul Pogba picking up the goal, a nice curled effort. Since then we've played three games, Brighton, Rio Albe and Wolves, we beat Brighton in League 3-0, Man Martial picking up a hat-trick. Rio Ave, we picked up a one-all draw. We should, probably should have won the game, but I did rotate out a lot of players, and I mean a lot of players. Dean Henderson didn't even have a fantastic game, so maybe it's time for me to sort of lean back on my idea of getting him to come into the side a bit more and pushing De Gea out. Uh, and then we played Wolves away from home with a nice 2-0 win. Delhi Alley picking up a goal. A nice little goal for him. Gassed that he's getting off to a good start. And today we have got Wolves and Tottenham, uh, Tottenham and Celtic, sorry, Tottenham and Celtic, a Euro Cup fixture. We then have an absolute awful run of three games here. Liverpool, Chelsea, Chelsea. I'm not looking forward to those two, but they, the Liverpool game will probably be an interesting one away from home early in the season. Um, and then after that, not that, not that many fantastic games really. I'll probably brush over a good portion of the season. Uh, I'll probably come back for the last game in the Euro Cup and I'll probably play against Sheffield United. Sheffield United, Rio RB will be a pr pretty nice double episode there. So yeah, we'll skip out, not skip out, but I'll play all these games behind the scenes just to sort of get through. So yeah, that'll be a nice episode to look forward to. So we're going to get straight into our game today. We are against Tottenham and it's going to be a bit of a difficult game, I've got to admit. The They're the looking good, Tottenham, but... It's whether or not we can come at them with the force that we need to. Maguire, Jimenez, Wambasaka, Kamavinga in that CDM role with Pogba and Benton I think has his yes, it has. Fernandez's ban has been lifted, so we are going to play Benton Kerr. The three that I want to play as often as I can, Pogba, Benton Kerr, Fernandez. Absolutely unreal three. Um Deli Ali, he scored last game, but I am going to put him onto the bench just because I know we might need a bit more of a defensive sided sort of a bench on our side here. Van der Beek can come off. Marcus Edwards can come back into his own. Uh, Daniel James picked up an injury for three weeks, so he won't be featuring as much as I want him to. And other than that, that's pretty much going to be how our side's going to line up. So yeah, we're going to go into the game now, submit the team, and let's get this yeah, Let's get this win against Tottenham. There's no more hope, only winning. I think it's time to put the hands on the hips. We are favourites. We should be winning this comfortably, boys. We should. We need to get a bit of swagger about us. We need to get our confidence up. The line-up here, four wins in our last five. You know our line-up. You know how we do line-up in these games. We need to get try and get a player face pack, because it'd be quite nice to get the player faces on here. Tottenham, if signed Memphis Depay, it's a front three of Kane Depay and Son. What a front three that is. There's the table. I'll show you that after this game. It's a must-win game for us, this, really, to try and stay within the top three contenders. And as we kick off, you can only say we're looking pretty confident. We're looking good coming into this game. Let's take it. Let's bring it to them. So we have the first highlight, really. Regelon plays it to Harry Winks, who plays it to Barrios. Hoichberg's on the edge of the box. It's a great save by De Gea. Beautiful save by De Gea. That's why we've kept him in the side. Tottenham absolutely having us in these first few minutes. Boys, fa focus. Focus, boys. What's going on? We need to try and focus up because something's not really clicking with us at the moment. Now, I'll keep it balanced for now. There's nothing. There's no point changing anything as of yet. But Bruno Fernandes plays it to Benton Kerr. Can we get a bit of passing going? Here we are. This is what you want to see. Pfft, Bruno Fernandes picked out Rashford and he just couldn't get a shot off there. I thought he might have had a shot, but he didn't. 31 minutes in. This has been a very quick game. Demand more of the side. We need to see more, lads. We've not seen enough of you so far. Pogba's not really playing too well. The defence is playing all right. De Gea's having a great game. Martial and Rash Greenwood aren't doing particularly too great out there. And I think, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to give these boys a bit of a talking to at half-time because we can't, we've seen nothing. We've seen absolutely diddly squat, as my granddad would say. We've seen absolutely nothing. Dressing room atmosphere now. Thrash arms, lads. What is going on? I'm far from pleased from what I've seen there. Let's get the midfielders. You have the ability today. Do something. You have the ability. Try and make something happen, is what I'm saying to them. We're 55 minutes in, and we're having an absolute shocker of a game today. Tell you what, 60 minutes in, we're going to make a few changes. We'll let the highlight run first. Alaba on the ball, plays it to Martial, finds Greenwood, who's not having a fantastic game. <laughs> I'll hold my hands up and I'll say I was wrong. Greenwood's having a fantastic day. What a goal. Martial pings it out wide to Greenwood, takes a touch out of his feet, and puts it beautifully underneath the keeper there. 
Great little goal. Right into that bottom left hand corner. I'm still taking off Martial, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still taking off Martial because he's not had a fantastic game. Cavani can come on. Pogba can come off. I'm gonna bring on McTominay purely for the physical attributes he's got. And Benson Kerr can come off as well. Greenwood's through again. Oh, yes. Oh, 63 minutes in. Why, why did I doubt him? I was just making a few subs there. I missed this. But Jimenez on the ball. Benson Kerr into Pogba. Pogba with a beautiful ball over the top to Greenwood. Who hits that first time into the front post. Lovely goal. Lovely goal. What a goal that was. Pogba's then come off. But, I mean, I ain't even bothered. Uh, Maguire now. 65th minute with 2-0 up against Tottenham. Rashford, they're chasing the game. Greenwood's down. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Why do you ever doubt Mason Greenwood, Alex? Why did you ever doubt him? Rashford cuts back onto his right foot. Puts the ball across. Greenwood's there. Beautiful finish. Beautiful finish. 3-0. All three. For that man, Mason, what a star boy. What an absolute star boy. He's gonna, we're going to have to come up with a nickname for him at some point. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of it. Sensational. I'm going to shout at the lads, give him a bit of praise. You know, you've got to give the boys a bit of credit where credit's due. They did come out. They made the difference. 90th minute now, they're going a bit more attacking. They've gone to a 4-4-2, brought on Asensio, who they have bought from Real Madrid. But I think the time is up for them as the last 15 seconds of the game... Camavinga gets that ball away. Strengs. Is that Strengs? Strengs is there. Alaba gets the ball away. And it's full time. 3-0 against Spurs at home. Well done, my lads. You've got to accept. Sometimes you've got to accept. You've done well there. You've done well there. We've just got the achievement as well. Unbeatable. Let me just double check what that is. Unbeatable. Your team is unbeaten in 10 consecutive competitive matches. So we've gone 10 matches unbeaten. Elsewhere, you can now see the table up here. 27 points to Liverpool, we're three points off, one point off City. Our goal difference, only four off Liverpool. And considering we've lost the game as well, that isn't too shabby. Yeah, miles ahead. The, you can sort of see what the, the races after ten, after sort of nine games in, ten game, nine, well, nine games, we're definitely like a quarter of the way through the season now. You can see these races sort of coming into play. But seven points isn't too much. Chelsea and all of those can probably still catch us, if anything. And now we go into the Celtic game where we go away from home. Probably a big game in the Europa League. We need to try and be, win that game against Celtic to sort of prove our worth in our group table and try and get that top spot, which you always want anyway. So yeah, we'll have to see what we can do. I'll catch you at the Celtic game. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we are for the Celtic game. An interesting one this should be because we do play Liverpool later on in the week. So I do want to rest a few players. Greenwood can probably stay into the side for now. McTominay's going to come in for Benton Kerr. Um, Camavinga can play in that role as a Metzala as well. Tellez is going to come in and let David Alaba have a bit of a rest. Lindelof in for Maguire. We'll let Maguire have a go. Dean Henderson in for De Gea as well, just to let him have a bit of a game out there. Deli Alli onto the bench for Benson Kerr. Let Van Der Beek in there as well. Maybe, just maybe, Brandon Williams as well, just in case. I'm going to let Kieran Trippier have a bit of a game actually as well, because we need him, we need him out there. And then other than that, no real changes. In fact, Twanzebi on the bench as well, why not? We are away from home to Celtic. I'm going to go balance purely because I think we can still have this game. And yeah, we're just going to go straight to the match. I've decided as well, because we are playing, well, the next, we've got a few big games coming up lately, actually. The Tottenham Celtic, two games that are the games that I've played today, are very interesting ones. I'm thinking for the next episode, I am going to play the Liverpool and Chelsea game. Now, the next two games, although I'm not advancing that far. There's games after that are very broad. Like the, this is a big moment in the season. If we can beat that Liverpool side, we do actually go. Well, we, it's a six-point game. We go very close to taking Liverpool over. As you can see in the Euro Cup, we're playing very well in, in ourselves anyway. If we win today against Celtic, well, we will see ourselves go top of this league. And then I think it's just a case of whether or not we can finish top. So this this can go on the back foot. It's more we're looking at the Carabao Cup against Chel with the Chelsea game. And the Liverpool games are six points in the league. So they're going to be big games for us. So I'll probably play those games. As Celtic have got a highlight here. It's a poor ball forward by Edouard. Henderson picks it up and plays it forward towards Martial. Celtic are playing pretty good football here. It's Griffiths. Lee Griffiths have put one in the back of the net. 20 minutes in and we're 1-0 down to Celtic. It's not going to plan this at all. Brown on the ball gives it to Christie. Christie plays a fantastic ball in behind to Griffiths. So he just uses Lindelof. And that's poor. That's very poor. We shouldn't be conceding those type of goals. Come on boys. We're playing alright. We're playing alright. I'm, I'm just going to say no pressure so far. No pressure. Just calm down. 
and play your game. Camavinga on the ball. Can't get him forward again. Trippier, can he maybe find a ball into the box? He plays it back to Camavinga. McTominay now manages to do, do very well there. As Rashford's there, Pogba with a great ball to Rashford, who's in acres of space, and it's one all. There we go. No doubt in my mind that we're going to get back into this game. Rashford's put that into the bottom right-hand corner. Nice. However Scott McTominay did this here, did very well to win that battle. Pogba then picks out Rashford, who turns his man, and he just switched off for a second that right-back and put it in the bottom right-hand corner. Beautiful goal. Nice goal for us. Double check if he's offside. I don't think he is because the goal stands. And yeah, he's just on. Beautiful goal. Bottom right-hand corner. One up. One up. Well, we're coming up to half-time here. And Celtic have only had two shots. And they've managed to score one. So I'm not particularly happy about that. Lee Griffiths coming forward again. Greenwood. They're trying to play the counter-attacking football where they're getting behind us. They're pressing very hard. So I think they might run out of stamina towards the end of this game. And fitness-wise, we might just have it on them. Camavinga plays it to Scott McTominay. Pogba. Tellez now, Alex Tellez on this left-hand side. Pogba into Rashford, plays it out to Pogba. Tellez is there. Can he slot it across? He can. He finds Martial. And it's a nice little move there. Lucky it fell to Tellez, really, but Martial's took that into the bottom right-hand corner. They've done well. Tellez with a nice little back heel. Lovely little bit of play here. Falls nicely to Martial, who finds Tellez. Uh, Pogba, who finds Tellez. Martial gets in front of his man. And it's an easy, easy goal for him there. His ninth goal of the season, we're playing very well. We're playing very, very well. Trippier, he's not used to this <laughs> tempo of football. He is absolutely shattered. He'll probably make a few changes at half time. Rashford on the ball, plays it through to Martial, who just can't get that goal to uh, that shot to go in and can't just just can't sneak it in. As we get to the half time whistle, yeah, we'll make a few changes. Um Trippier can come off. Brandon Williams can have a little bit of a go out there, and also I'm gonna take off. Marky Mark for Marcus Edwards. I'm going to let Marcus Edwards have a bit of a game on that left-hand side, a bit more of a support player. Um, let him cut in, do his business. Just see what we can do, really, in the second half. Got to the 52nd minute now. There's a highlight here, and it's fallen to Celtic. But Scott McTominay has done a very good, very good interception there. Edwards brings it forward. Edwards just shoots for fun, you know. He just shoots across the goal and it goes miles wide. There's literally no point in you shooting there at all. Might have to try and see what we can do with him, try and train him up, maybe even loan him out. Because he's just not he's just not adapted well so far to the environment. I'm gonna I'm gonna praise the boys, they're playing pretty well. You can't, you, you can't argue it. Sixty minutes in, we've had twenty shots, ten on target. I might give Greenwood a bit of a rest purely because I do want to play him for that game, that big game. Um, he's picked up a yellow card. I'm going to just give it a few more minutes. Brandon Williams on his right-hand side now. Camavinga. Back to Williams. Can he find a crossing? Plays it to Pogba, who has a shot, and it's just gone wide. We'll let it go to the 70th minute, and then we'll take off Greenwood, who is a bit worse for wear now. Lindelof picks up the ball, gives it Tellez. We're looking for a third goal here. McTominay on the ball. Back to Tellez, who plays a beautiful ball across to Greenwood, and it's hit the post again. McTominay to Pogba. Are we going to get another chance here? I don't think we are. We're going backwards and that's going to be ended up. Rio Ave have to win their next two games to go ahead of us by one point. As long as we pick up one point against either side, we're through. Tell us to Pogba now. Can we get another goal towards the end of this game? Goal difference might be the key for the, for our um, advancements in this tournament. Pogba on the ball. Back to Tell us. Can he get a good cross? And he can. Dele Alley. You think Dele Alley had slot that home there, but he's just missed. Coming up to the 90th minute now, it'd probably be the end of the game. Marcus Edwards finds Tell us. Tell us back to Pogba. Beautiful ball in towards Martial. It just doesn't fall. Kind of thing goes to go himself. Brandon Williams strikes. Jeez. Towards the end of the game, Marcus Edwards picks it up. Runs past his man. He probably just shot wide anyway. But <laughs> there we have it. Good little win. 2-1 win. We're happy. Outstretched stars. We've got a win today, boys. Nothing out of the ordinary. We've done well to come back. Just a good victory. Just a good victory. Trippier picking up an injury. A sprained ankle. He might have been a bad pickup actually for 8 million. I might have to try and see if we can force him on next season. So yeah, we're doing well. I'll bring you the next episode, which will be Liverpool and Chelsea. Something to look forward to. A six-point ga game. Six point game against Liverpool will be huge. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as ever, I always say this. Leave a like. Let me know if you're doing well in the comments. I hope everyone's doing well. 10 million people vaccinated, I heard today, which is fantastic news. And hopefully this will all be over in the coming months. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.